Myra and today I am doing another day in the life of a medical assistant. Actually the last one I think I did was a week in the life and I was so surprised because it got so many views and then it was edited poorly so hopefully this one will be edited way better because why not oh my god I thought something was on the mirror but it's actually something in my hair like what the heck so as you guys can see I just woke up and I did get up and make my bed you know trying to form new habits it's nothing major but a little something there's Charleston with his freaking harness because he is begging to go outside <clears throat> We're about to go outside. Hold on. Let me just intro. Let me just intro to this little um day in the life. So I kind of want this to go up the same day. So actually, after I get ready and stuff for work, I'm gonna hurry up and make the thumbnail. So that way I can edit this with iMovie. That's why I'm filming it on my phone, and it should be a little bit better than the last one. So yeah. Okay, you guys. So it is almost seven o'clock, and I spent the most time literally figuring out which scrubs I was gonna wear. And then, as you can see, I kind of tried to do something with my hair. Um, this blowout is pretty much almost done. You can see my hair starting to shrink back up and turn back into an afro. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and pull off a blowout look for one more day. So I just pulled this little ponytail up, kind of to the side, and left the back out. So. Simple half up, half down. I decided to do my black scrubs today with some pink Nikes. And I just put on this pink scrunchie. I didn't even wrap it around. It's only on there once. I put the ponytail up separately. And then I literally just threw the scrunchie on top of it. Because I was like, I don't need two tight things on my head. So I'm about to put my scrubs on. And yes. Also, if you guys want to see a video about like natural hair in a... I guess kind of like professional environment go ahead and leave me a comment down below because that was one thing i was saying on my last day in the life video people were like oh my gosh your hair like you change your hair every day and i'm just like i'm sorry okay guys so i'm finally ready um i just put on my black scrubs and then these nikes i think i told you guys that already but um i put my coat on i'm sure it's not that cold for a scarf but i just was like let me put a scarf on and I'm about to go. I'm not stopping anywhere today, buying any coffee, anything like that. I'm just going straight to work and getting prepared to work. So, yeah, <laughs> about to head out. Charleston looks so sad. I'm sorry. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, so I am at work and I'm waiting for my computer to load up so that I can clock in. But I am just going to start by kind of organizing this. It just never fails that no matter how hard I try, whenever I get back in the next day, it's always just a mess. So I do have some medications to draw up here, hand sanitizer and gloves, all that. It's neat. It just looks a mess. Like, why is this just sitting out? And this needs to be wiped off. So in my hand, I have my schedule from Friday and I'm about to go put it up into a file. I keep these now because I had a few like documentation errors. So I keep these just in case I forget to document something or do it incorrectly. Then I have a list of every patient I saw and what I did. So whenever we clock in, we have to answer this question, obviously because of the pandemic. So I'm just going to say no and clock in. So you guys schedule for the day and folded away all the patient information that's why it looks like this but as you can see we have basically a bunch of physicals and then some stress tests with ekgs and then i think it's a follow-up in here and a med check sty on eye oh my gosh too much so at this point i basically stopped to sit down and have a little bit of lunch even though there was barely any time because we still had a bunch of patients that we needed to go do ekgs on and we also use a treadmill when we do that so it takes a little bit of time so this is just me like sneaking a bite and not even being able to go to an actual lunch this particular day So the morning is over we do a lot of ekgs in the morning but now that it's afternoon we're just gonna have a bunch of regular patient check-ins so i'm just waiting till two o'clock for that to start so to get an idea of how busy this particular doctor is it's not even two o'clock yet and we've already seen 22 patients whether that's ekgs or regular in office visits so i'm gonna go ahead and prep this room because my patient has not checked in yet Right there. My car. 
why this is there actually I do know who put it right there but whatever okay so I'm looking at the computer so you have a good idea this is for right leg pain and we are not her primary care she typically sees someone else but today she's going to see us so I'm just gonna start the note right leg pain and then find her on my schedule and of course she is not on here we be having so many updates throughout the day so it just gets very confusing do, do, do. I'm gonna just it on the back. all right gotta go get my patient so two o'clock is in now we're at 2 10 so that's how close we are right now let me see oh my gosh Everybody laughing, having fun. And I'm just like, you know how much we got going on. It says eye infection. They never give any information which one. So at the end of the day, I like to wipe down all the commonly used services <laughs> in the exam tables because obviously people have been on them. And then also disinfect all the commonly touched surfaces. Okay, you guys, so I am home now. I just wanted to come and end out the vlog. The reason why I wrapped my hair up is because I'm about to take a quick shower and then change clothes because if you guys don't know, I also am a retail supervisor. So I have to go to my retail job tonight. Um, I'm gonna do like a whole little retail supervisor video day in the life and see how that does. But I have officially put my two weeks in at my other job. So I'm going to do it like my last week working there. So yeah, it's really exciting. I'm not going to be doing the two job thing anymore. And I'm just going to have time to actually do stuff with my son, Charleston, after work. But yeah, let me hurry up and take the shower because I literally have to be there in less than an hour and get changed. Oh, I'm supposed to be ending the video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can be a part of the Mighty Mob. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.